Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I am Jennifer Huber, also known as Solo Travel Girl. And August 9th of this year, I found a three inch bullseye rash on the back of my leg, indicating Lyme disease. I later had blood tests to confirm that yes, I have Lyme disease. I was prescribed 10 days of antibiotics. However, I still having brain fog and pains and other symptoms, stiff neck, and basically I am blessed. I found another doctor to help me along this, this journey. Um, I wasn't gonna post a video this week and I didn't post the last week's video until today. So hopefully you can see that. And the most recent video is about my first month with Lyme disease and just some of the things that I have been experiencing. But last Sunday when I recorded that video, I was feeling great and felt a little scattered and I knew I left some things out. So I was gonna re-record the video later in the week, but that didn't happen. The difference in how I feel between last Sunday and this past Monday is wild. I feel like I am just losing my mind. I feel like I'm having an outer body experience. I feel like I'm invisible when I'm out on the road or in the store shopping, I just feel like people don't see me, they're missing me. I feel like I need to be extra cautious to be visible. So let me tell you what has happened since Sunday. Um, I have this new doctor, I guess you can say, and uh, I mean, he is, yes, a new doctor. I still have my primary doctor. However, he put me on a new protocol um, and this is based on effort. After my conversation with him, we went over the different scenarios. I gave him my symptoms from my Lyme. And at the time, I still had a headache, stiff neck, sore neck, my joints ache, especially my knees, my hip, um, my vision, poor, poor vision going on, especially my right dominant eye. Um, with the floaters in there and then just seeing dots and, and that and the um and that when i'm driving and when i'm outside and before he asked me what i wanted to do i said after being on antibiotics for 10 days should i still have these symptoms and he said no and he believes that possibly that this disease has gotten into my nervous system so this is the first course of action is this new protocol. So I'm on two different antibiotics. I'm on a steroid and I'm on some heavy duty supplements. And for the first five days, um, which began last Saturday, I took steroids twice a day. And now after five days, that's weaned off to once a day. And that's gonna wean off to one pill or one or half a tab once a day and then that'll wean down even more so after 21 days i will no longer be on a steroid and this is where i will probably get cranky and hungrier gain some weight but that's okay i just want to kick lime's butt and i'm being optimistic um so yeah i'm taking medications four different times a day i take the steroids and supplement in the morning and then just the or take the antibiotics in the morning on an empty stomach with a supplement and then i take the antibiotics again on an empty stomach in the evening and then i have some supplements i need to take with meals and then the steroid i need to take with a meal so i have it all figured out my kitchen counter is all mapped out i have wrote everything down so i can check it off when i take those medications but I don't know, this brain fog, that is like the most severe. It's, it, it's, it's hard to function and concentrate. Um, I've started, I've been drinking electrolytes, trying to eat a lot of fish, avocado toast, you know, all those healthy fats. Had some cod for dinner tonight. I made some flaxseed crackers. It's just, it's just a lot, um, but I'm getting through. It's okay, started drinking my distilled water, getting some electrolytes when I can. Um, drinking fruit smoothies with acai, I think that's how you pronounce it if I remember correctly. 
And also, I am trying to get some exercise. Um, I still need to walk my dog tonight. It's about 7.30. I already have 12,000 steps in for the day, and that's because I did some lawn work today, walked the dog, and then ran some errands. Today was a heavy day. I was hoping to snuggle up with my blanket here on the couch, take a nap, but that hasn't happened, so perhaps I will get to bed early. Um, yesterday was my self-care Saturday, which I really haven't done in a long time. As I mentioned in my last video that I'm trying to be more mindful about getting more sleep and practicing more self-care. I booked a facial yesterday, had my eyebrows done, did a little retail shopping, got this shirt. I know it's kind of like a little house in the prairie-ish, but I have a country event coming up in November, so I thought this would be appropriate. But as soon as I had my facial done, as soon as the gal started putting her hands and rubbing them, I just wanted to cry because I felt so much relief and I felt human. I felt a thousand times better when she was done. And I, I did fall asleep a little bit and it just felt so good. And, you know, I think and I hope that I feel so miserable because I hope all this bacteria is dying and I hope this is why I'm feeling this way. The only way that this bacteria can leave is leaving through my pores and other open areas. And um, gosh, I hope it, it's doing its thing. But I know I've rambled on enough. Um, I did have some issues with my my blood sugar, I believe. And I say I believe because I don't have a continuous monitor, but I just received one. Um, let me make sure I get the right name of it. I think it's called... I showed it in my Monjaro video last week. It's called Stello by Dexcom. It's the first non-prescription wearable glucose biosensor. I ordered that Friday night and arrived yesterday. So I'll try and get that hooked up tonight. But I, um, I do have a finger stick monitor. And when I was taking it, I just don't think the glue sticks or the glucose sticks are working because I got readings like in the 20s and 30s and that sets off. The doctor is monitoring it, saying, Jennifer, are you okay? I'm like, yes, I'm fine, even though I'm a little lightheaded in that. But anyway, hopefully this uh, Stello is going to help me out with glucose but as I'm going through all this, because with the electrolytes and salt and all this, I, I'm just concerned maybe this is causing my lightheadedness and my, um, my brain fog. I don't know. We shall see. So I just babbled on for, what, eight minutes, almost eight minutes now. But thank you for being here. Yeah, I'll, I'll get through this. I'm optimistic. I have two more weeks of the medication. I'm supposed to be going out of town this week. Am I reconsidering it? Yeah. I mean, part of me doesn't want to. Part of me, yeah, you know, just facing my own mortality. Like, anyway. I just kind of think that I need to, to go. I know I need to do what's right for me, but... Anyway, all right, my friends, thanks so much for watching. I'm not sure when I'll have a next Lyme video. Hopefully I will get my video out about subset, about what I did with my Manjaro panties, my pre-Manjaro panties, and then I will get the sensor video uploaded soon as well. All right, not only be kind to others this week, but just remember, please be kind to yourself. And remember, life's too short, so always say yes to adventure. Bye.